Hi, everyone. I'm Mitch Jurisic, and welcome to Hooked on the Niners. And I'm Mark Naismith, and we'll take a look at a big win in the Big Easy. Cool, and I'm Jerry Walker, <laughs> and we're going to also talk about the upcoming game in another Big Easy, St. Louis. <laughs> and in our second segment, which is going to turn into a quarterback segment, we thought we needed some reinforcements, so we brought back Terrell Jones and somebody who did play quarterback in the NFL, Steve Bono. All that and not a darn thing more right here on Hooked on the Niners. Be good today, will you? Yeah. Do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> Hooked on the Niners is brought to you by Bay 101 Casino, located at 1801 Bering Drive in San Jose. They can be reached at 408-451-8888 or on the web at bay101.com. Since 1994, Bay 101 Casino. Badges Cafe. Badges Cafe is located in the heart of Mountain View at 2423 Old Middlefield Way. You can reach Badges Cafe at 650-967-7477 or on the web at www.badges.com. Go Niners! College Plaza Shell. College Plaza Shell, located at 1400 West Hillsdale Boulevard in San Mateo. Providing automotive service since 1987. You can reach College Plaza Shell at 650-573-7959. That's 650-573-7959. Psst, hey, need some video work done? We can do that. We do all that video stuff. We can even put your video on that internet thingy. At Peninsula TV, we do full-blown in-studio production, talk shows, performances, speeches, anything. Remote multi-camera production, on location, at your event. And for the budget-minded, single camcorder production, in high definition. We'll take your video project from first idea to finished product. For more info, contact Peninsula TV. Welcome back to Hooked on the Niners. For those of you that are with us regularly, last week we talked about how difficult this game was going to be for the 49ers going down to uh, to New Orleans. And before I go any further, Steve, welcome. Good Thank to you. see you back. Terrell, good to see you guys. Thanks for having me. Nice to have you back too. too. Jerry? Yeah. yeah I knew that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was <laughs> see him all the time. Uh, I had always heard, Steve, and you can verify this, having played in the league for, what was it, 43 years? <laughs> Is that or, or it just looks like that. No, no. Um, the old RFK Stadium. Kansas City, Seattle now, and the, and the Superdome, four toughest place to, places to play. Superdome by far. By far, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. of the hard top. Yeah. That, that right. sound's not going anywhere except for back down. It's, yeah. And, and, and uh, how tough for a, a quarterback in his second year to go down there and do what he did? Extremely. Yeah. Extremely tough. Did, did well. Um, I think they would have done just as well with Alex in there because yeah. the defense played tremendous, as we, yeah. as we saw. They? Right, right. But... Um, they opened it up well they, for, for Colin. They did. Anything surprise you in this game? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. That they went down there. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 I was off last week. Yeah, I'm yeah, kind of no, like, don't keep it to yourself. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I'm not telling you. Yeah. 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 Well, if they handled them. I mean, you yeah, know, and I think good. that you, we all know how good this defense is, but they, they, the more you see them, the better they are. And, you know, you look at the stats, 155 points, least points given up in the NFL. It's only three teams out of 32 that have given up less than 200 points. And yeah. one of them's the Bears, who they added to that total last right. week. But yeah. this is just a superior defense. I think it can be discussed with almost anybody who's been on the field in a long, long time. You know, like like Steve, you've been down in the Superdome many times when you were with the 49ers, and you know what that's like. This kind of had the feel of the old-time games, but those things usually ended 14 10, 13, 6, you know, that sort of stuff. The number of points the 49ers scored, albeit two of them defensively, yep. still pretty pretty exciting. Very impressive. Yeah. And what, what, the, what 
to go away from the impressive part. It bothered me early on, no pass rush. <coughs> Seemed like Drew was getting a lot of time back yeah, there to, right. to find mm -hmm. receivers. Yeah. But that second half was a completely different story. Do you story. notice Mark yeah. just sit up when you said pass rush? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, he got excited. Right, right. Right. Well, well, wait a minute. Yeah. 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 It was a little scary because Breeze is so dangerous, you know. Right. And I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. I mean, he gets that ball out so fast, so accurately. Yeah. And he's a great passer. And was kind of 14 to 7. I'm going, uh-oh. But... It was uh oh the other way. I yeah. think he's going to try to get a uh, an Alden Smith fathead. You've seen those things. <laughs> he already to, has to one. Put <laughs> over, <laughs> to put over his bed, but he's never, he's not going to get that past Chris. <laughs> she, she isn't going to go for that. But let's talk about him a little bit. You know, they were they were saying that. Um, uh, first two years in the league, he's going to have more sacks than anybody if he gets like one or two more, right. and he's going to pass Reggie White. Right. Yeah. Yikes! Right. Yeah. That's that's pretty good company there, huh? <laughs> you think? Yeah. I mean, isn't Reggie like a Hall of Famer or yeah. something like that? Did you ever yeah, get so. hit by Reggie White? Yes. You did. <laughs> now that yes. explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really explains a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know how you said that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. Like it, it I'll wasn't tell the story good. afterwards. We don't have enough time for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, again, well, let, we talked about, let's talk about the defense. To me, a lot of times uh, it seemed like when they were sacking him or, or rushing Drew Brees, it seemed like th it was the coverage that was good. Right. That he right. had nowhere to go with this oh, thing. Oh, and I agree, because they totally shut down Jimmy Graham. You know, yeah, they who did. Was one of the best tight ends, you know, in the I'd game. I'd take him. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Wills did a great job on him. You know, Bowman, whoever was on him, just shut him completely down. And you can yeah. tell that he was totally out of his game. Right, so, right, exactly. I mean, even the DBs, they, they played extremely well, you know. I mean, Lance Moore had a couple, you know, great catches, but the second half came, it was difficult for them to get the ball downfield. You, you know, you mentioned that you, you can mention the, the, this defense with any defense that's played in a, in a long, long time. Going back, you know, you're kind of our historian, and now you're with the, the 49ers as they're – I, I call you the museum curator. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I think this. Uh, you can't say the other word. I think this defense is starting to compare a lot to the teams in the '80s. I really do. I've never been hit by Reggie White. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you I look like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it some days. Yeah. Now I was thinking about that watching that game yesterday. They might be better than some of those defensive teams we had in the '80s. Really? That were the great teams. Really. I mean, they've got so much depth at different positions. Linebacker is just. Oh, yeah. That's got to be the greatest linebacking group. Maybe assembled yeah, in 49er history. Yeah, ab absolutely right. And and you know the way they swarmed all over the field. I think uh, I think New Orleans was averaging something like 28 points a game, and we kind of I think held their offense to 14, 14 points. You know we kind of right. mm -hmm. we kind of gave them a mulligan there on the on the six yard line, mm -hmm. which uh, you know I don't know that that you know the special teams is the one area on this team that I think hasn't maybe more than any other hasn't played up to what they did last year. Yeah, and, last and I year. Agree. Yeah. Sorry, but no, no. Uh, but uh, also too, I think they took a big hit yesterday because I think Kyle Williams is done for yeah. the season. Oh no! Uh, that's, that's, oh, I had not heard yeah. that. Yeah, I had neither. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was yeah, they're, 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 they're not sure, but that's that's, that's, that's what I got this morning. That was okay. a sad scene to see two players. <clears throat> Right, being wheeled off the field hit, the hit same by the yeah. same guy too. John yeah. Yama hit them both. <laughs> yeah. How about wow. just taking out wow. one guy? You know, yeah. right? Two guys on there, and, and so the first thing I think of, I mean, this is Bonito. just horrible. No, no, Jenkins no, no. Yeah, Michael, no, not Michael that. James. I'm thinking, hmm, well, Michael James and AJ Jenkins. Oh yeah, and that's what they're talking about. Yeah. They're going to yeah. bring him up. So will yeah. we see them? Do you think? Steve? Yeah, if, if Kyle's out, I would think. Yeah. I would think. Uh, I would think Michael James, but and you know, well, and they're talking that that Kendall Hunter probably is not going to play next game either. So then you're going to have Michael there, That's, you know, and just, just take him right now and just you know put him back put to, him. for the punts and for the kick returns as well. Let, mm -hmm. Let's let's get back to the positive stuff. I, <laughs> I want to talk about some of the little things that happened in the game, and I love watching this kind of stuff. The run by Kaepernick for the touchdown. The, this they call it the read option. How hard is that to put the ball there to the running back and to know whether to let go? <laughs> For one of us to do it, yeah. it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> For someone like Colin who's done it his it's whole life, like, exactly. yeah. I mean, it was obviously a great read. I mean, you, right. especially in the replay when you see it on that, you know, the camera that's behind the quarterback and boom, down goes that defensive end and he pulls it out and goes. Yeah, and, and, the, and the point is, is you don't have a chance to say to the guy, no, wait here a second, I don't yeah, know if yeah, he's right. going to, you yeah. know, that's yeah. got to be, yeah. I mean, not even the time it takes to snap your fingers. Yeah. On the other, run, on the other runs, he made, they, they defensed him pretty well. I thought they were well prepared. Yeah. Well, the touchdown run was very, very sweet, but uh, he ran a couple more times that didn't get too far. I think, so. I think after that first one, though, they said, okay, you know what? We're going to put a spy on this guy. Yeah, they seem yeah. to. They, they had yeah. to. How about the block by Randy Moss in the end zone yeah. on that uh, run? 
blocking him. Block? Just, would you call that a block? I'd call that interference. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that's no, no. Oh, block oh, on that block run. On that, on, oh, on that play. That's just called getting Randy's in the way. more important yeah, exactly. play. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. all he needed to do was get in the way. <laughs> that was the other one I had here, the Moss uh, pass interference. Pass interference. Oh, well, there, there was two that they didn't call. Okay, well, I'm just going the one in the end zone, which was smart. I mean, it was That's a six horrible points. throw. That's six Should have never. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Worst thing, we get, what is it, 10 or 15? I don't know, what is it, offensive, 15? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, worst thing is we're back on the 20. We have the ball. We got a field goal. So he grabs him. Yeah. What a heady play oh, yeah. that is. Yeah, well, exactly. That, that, is, that is a great play. And then I noticed one time that Moss was talking to uh, Kaepernick, Kaepernick on the right. sidelines. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. he, you know, they're motioning and doing all this stuff, which at some point you'll have to explain to us what goes on down there. Well, How about I, right now? I, I, I was just going to say, <laughs> well, I, I think just by that, seeing that exchange on the sideline and then seeing um, what guys were saying in interviews after the game. Yeah. I mean, they've really responded to uh, Colin being on the field. I, I love mean, the one thing when he's talking to him and you could read his lips when Colin answers back and he goes, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> kind of like you get, all right, when we come back, <laughs> if you want to talk quarterback, we've got one here, and that's what we're going to do in the next segment right here on Hook Down the Niners. Get out your quarterback. Brought you in part by Barati and Karad, CPAs, providing income tax and accounting services to individuals and the business community since 1986. Located at 1100 Larkspur Landing Circle in Larkspur. They can be reached at 415-461-8500 or on the web at www.pccpas.com. Let's go Niners. Woodmont Real Estate Services, a friend of the community since 1963. Woodmont Real Estate Services is located at 1050 Ralston Avenue in Belmont, California, and can be reached at 650-592-3960 or at www.wres.com. Vivanche Restaurante. Vivanche Restaurante is located in the heart of Belmont at 1910 Ralston Avenue. They can be reached at 650-637-0611. That's 650-637-0611. Or on the web at www.vivancherestaurant.com. Gando Design. For 25 years, Gando Design is located in Redwood City. Their website is gandodesign.com slash specials. Gando Design. A proud sponsor of Hooked on the Niners. Peninsula TV is now live streamed on the internet. Watch us from anywhere you have an internet connection. On cable, on the net, and on that fancy mobile device. Just go to pentv.tv. Welcome back to Hooked on the Niners. Yeah, penalties. Uh, time to talk quarterback. And uh, uh, Steve, you're the obvious guy to go to first. They, 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 they. they play quarterback well, well, in the well, well, yeah. 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 Exactly. well, he's a new guy. I want to make him feel good. Um, they, they switch quarterbacks. I'm going to try to give you my little conspiracy theory here. The motive for uh, for Harbaugh to do this: a, it's his guy. Alex isn't. Um, it's an opportunity to do it now with the concussion thing. I think maybe this might have been done next year, so he's taking advantage of it now. And I, I'm basing this on how do you bench a guy that's got a quarterback rating of 103 point something and leading the league in pass efficiency. And as a side note for the second part of the question, Was you 19? do know how to do the quarterback <laughs> rating thing, right? No, I don't. Okay, all right. Okay. No. So, it was 19 for 20. Just two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, right, right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So or the change for 19, 19, 19 for 20, I'm going with that yeah. one because that ball was complete. Yeah, it was yeah, allowed. Right. Okay. A um, couple things. Uh, I'll go with a little bit of your conspiracy theory in that um, it is Harbaugh's guy mm -hmm. and it's not Trent Balky's. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll add to it. Okay. Um, there's definitely a statement being made there. Uh, the big problem that I have, okay, yes, he's taken advantage of an injury, a concussion, you know, I haven't really, is Alex really cleared? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Um, he, the problem that I have is unwritten rule, nobody loses their job 
from an injury. Yeah. And especially a guy that really is, has been playing well. Right. Okay, yes, he's not he, – he, just personality-wise, he's not going to pump the ball down the field like, like Colin is. Right. I mean, it's just not his – that's not in his personality. Right. Maybe he can't do it physically, um, and they're not going to allow him to. Exactly. I mean, Harbaugh's, yeah. Harbaugh's not going to allow Alex to do that. Yeah. They're going to play a – he's going to call a different game. Um, and, I, and I do give credit to Harbaugh and the coaches. They know what they have in, in Colin, and they're calling that game to, to put him in a situation to be successful. Now, you guys have been in the locker room many times like he has. We haven't. Uh, are you worried about the locker room at all? I, I was last week. Okay. I, I was thinking about it. It could, it could affect the locker room, but I don't think so. I okay. think Harbaugh has such control over the locker room that, that it's, he's got everyone agreeing with him that, yeah, this is the time to try it, let's try it. Right. Where back in the day when we would replace somebody, <laughs> there was always that question like, who's on whose side here? You know, where the, the locker room's a little bit divided. So I, I, I'm not worried anymore about the locker room. Yeah. I, well, I'll, I'll go the other way. I am. You are? Yeah, because, okay. you know, Staley made a statement yesterday. He said, I'm very uncomfortable talking about this. Okay. And so let's, let's leave it alone. And then you got, you know, Vernon came out and, you know, right away and said, hey, you know, Colin did a great job. Vernon got, what, one ball thrown to him yesterday. Would, would so you, now, would, what, do you, what do you think? Would you look at what Staley said as being a good locker room guy, saying, look, I don't want to talk about it because basically the guy is my friend and I, I just want to, yeah. I want to stay away from it. I mean, you were thrown into a position, position with two Hall of Famers that, that got injured, and you went into a game in New York. And Wasn't that what Jerry was referring to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and went, into, went into a game in New York and, and won a big game. And so you know what that situation is like. That's that's a that's a tough it's a really tough situation. I and they kept showing Alex on the sideline for and I'll back up and say that I think all you guys know that I'm an Alex fan. Oh Always yeah, we are been. too. Yeah. We are too big yeah. Alex um, fans. I I felt so bad for him yesterday. They kept showing him after yeah. every big play and you know, he yeah. dropped his head and it's like, oh yeah. it's just it was killing me yeah. to watch it. Um it, it it's a very difficult situation. And, and to go back to, will it divide the locker room? I don't think so. One, because Harbaugh has such control on it. Mm -hmm. And two, I think that Alex Alex won't let that happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Class guy. He, he, he's he's a class guy. Like a Barry he's, Zito. He, he's not going to – he, he, he <laughs> wants to win as bad as anybody else in there because he's been through the – crap yeah right he's been through hell to get to this point mark you and i've been watching the 49ers for four million years <laughs> what's what's the biggest difference you see with kaepernick and a quarterback well two things first of all i don't think jim harbaugh has a harbaugh has a copy of the of the unwritten rules handbook right <laughs> don't think he cares no. right right and i say that kind of in a, a way no. that i think he's going to do what he wants and his right. success speaks for itself yeah but, but you know, it should yeah. well and it should i mean two things come off to me i'm probably not a, as much in the smith camp as you guys are but uh, two things, you know, you, you got to think that as, as a defensive coordinator, he's Kaepernick's got to be way harder to plan for yeah. than mm -hmm. Smith would because yeah. of the way he plays the game. Agree with it or not. The other thing that's indisputable from a data point of view, this guy's completed ten passes over twenty yards in two games, and Smith hasn't completed that many yeah. in every game he started. So right. he brings a complete different dimension, obviously, right. to the game. And and I think you know it's an heir apparent situation, and one could argue, let's get on with it. But it goes back to what Steve said, though, is I think it's the play calling. You know, they, they're going to manage Alex. They're going to say, okay, we right. can do this, this. But with Colin, that's their guy. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to open up the playbook and say, let's, you know, well, let's go for that play in the hand of a defensive coordinator yeah. if you kind of know that yeah. it, everything's 10 yards and in? Right. Seems you, to me you, a win, the, the old eight or nine know? in the box. What do I know? What has happened to the quarterback position? And I say that from this standpoint. It used to be, I draft you, here's a clipboard, don't talk to me for two and a half or three years, and I may get you in a game. Now these guys are coming out of college. Yeah, exactly, Cam Newton, yeah. Uh, yeah, Andrew exactly. Luck, RG3, Andy Tannehill, Dalton. Andy Tannehill. Dalton. And they're playing well, Steve. They're, they are playing well. Uh, a lot of those guys that you just mentioned that are in their sophomore year, so to speak, are Are these are, guys are just better well. than you guys were? I'm sure they are. Okay. Actually, um, <laughs> I, th I think uh, I think guys know they they I think they know a lot more in in certain ways. Yeah. Um, in certain ways, they know a lot less. Fundamentally, they're they don't th th fundamentally they're not half as good as I, I think a lot of guys you know 15 or 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. It's yeah. just it's a completely different game. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
you know, you're standing back there in the shotgun. Yes, you can see it a little better. These guys have grown up in the shotgun. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, the first time I took a shotgun snap in an NFL game, the ball hit me in the chest because <laughs> I was watching the strong safety and I wasn't thinking about having to catch the snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. know, so. Yeah. Um, I just uh, think they, times have changed. I think the it, athletes the, are as the times, good. The times have changed, and they spend, and they spend nine months, ten months yeah, yeah. on it. Right, I mean, right. Yeah, we worked out in the offseason as hard as anybody does. Right. But we didn't spend 10 months looking at film you right. know, and, and going over all this stuff. Absolutely um, right. Absolutely. Steve's pretty good yeah. size, but they're bigger nowadays, too. They, they, oh, they way are. Bigger. They're, way and, bigger. And they're so much faster. I, rem I remember when Colin Kaepernick was at Nevada, and it goes to show you what I know. And he was running around. I said, at the next level, he's not out running linebackers up there. <laughs> the hell he's not. Well, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, he he is still, but not as many of them. I right. mean, you, you see him going, you see him going sideways, <laughs> sideways. And, and I'm sure in the beginning he was like, "Whoa, wait a minute! Yeah. I used to be able to get around this corner." Yeah, uh, right. It's now, not going to happen as much. For you. Right. How to slide too. Right, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Got to learn how to slide. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about the game coming up with the Rams and maybe some other stuff too. Right here, hooked on the Niners. How many times you you play somebody with concussed? Oh. Hooked on the Niners is brought to you in part by Old County Custom Framing. Located at 1339 Old County Road in Belmont. You can reach Old County Custom Framing at 650-596-2767. That's 650-596-2767. Go Niners! California Catering Company of San Mateo. Proudly serving our community at 233 West 20th Avenue in San Mateo. California Catering can be reached at 650-345-4811, extension 1. The San Mateo Credit Union, serving San Mateo County for over 60 years. They can be reached at 650-363-1725. That's 650-363-1725 or on the web at www.smcu.org. San Mateo Credit Union. Hey guys, Will Durst here for my good friends, well, acquaintances at Penn TV, the place for what's happening in San Mateo County and lots more too. Visit Penn TV on your local cable TV provider or live on the web at www.penntv.tv. Hey, they do good stuff. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Hooked on the Niners. All right. Uh, Ram week. Big deal, isn't it? It is a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, to the to the older generation, the yeah. younger ones, I've had somebody ask me, like, why is the Rams 49er game a big deal? I'm like, well, they used to be in LA. Yeah, <laughs> so right, exactly. It used to be right. a geographical rivalry. Right. Ab <laughs> absolutely right. All right. They come into uh, the Ram week, and we already talked about it. Uh, may have a little problem in the kick returning area, huh? Just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, right. uh, Ted, Ted Ginn Jr., there's nothing wrong with him physically. Right. right. Uh, but the, the punt returning. Well, no, I meant, you know what I meant. <laughs> I didn't mean, I like him. No, it wasn't a shot. I really well, like him. Been. I think he's a, he's a good guy. But Kyle Williams being out, I mean, do, do they get LaMichael James? Do they bring him up from the, uh, from the freshman team? You have to. Yeah. You know, he's going to provide you with a lot of speed. So, you know, and, and Ted Ginn. He hasn't really played that well. I think the first thing you got to get back there is somebody that can catch the ball. Man, I mean, my God. Has he returned punts? I think he has. Who did? Manningham. Has he returned punts? I think. Yeah, I, think so yeah, I just made it up. But but he he yeah, he <laughs> certainly <laughs> has good hands. Why not? Been been this whole so. show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember uh, Mike Schumann. You know, we had him here, our good pal over at uh, KGO. They made him the punt returner simply for one reason: he could catch. That's right. You got to you got to catch the ball. Yeah, you do. That's important. You know, the returns are nice, <laughs> but you know, hanging on to that thing is uh, is uh, you know paramount to uh, success. Wide receiver now uh, with with no Kyle Williams. Will right. we see AJ Jenkins, or are we going to see a Moss. little bit more of Randy, Randy Moss? Moss? I don't know. Randy's, as we talked about earlier, Randy's pretty important to that team in many facets, not yeah. just being out there at the wideout. Yeah. But uh, Manningham played well yesterday. 
Played yeah. pretty well. It's quick and quick. Watch, watch this yeah. curveball in the dirt. <laughs> so you played quarterback. Why aren't they throwing the ball to Randy Moss? <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought that there would be, I mean, and there may be now, if Colin's still playing, yeah. of, of trying to pump it to him down the field a little bit more vertically. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It seems, if, if watching him in some of the games, He's just running kind of decoy routes, it seems to me, um, and and they're not really even looking for him. Or or maybe they are if he's getting one-on-one coverage, but he hasn't been. Yeah. It doesn't but seem you, like. I think they're and and Greg Roman just seems to be working his magic, man. Yeah. It's like they're waiting for Vernon Davis. They don't throw the ball to him. Who do they throw the ball to? Delaney Walker. Walker. He made yeah. two huge plays yesterday. Oh, so yeah. right. they've got everybody kind of guessing and and trying to play the chess game and. They're, yeah, winning. they're winning. I, I still think they brought Moss in just to light a fire underneath Crabtree. Yeah. That's what I, I think. I, really? I, I don't doubt that. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And I don't doubt that. Now, it, it, you're right. It, it one worked. of the yeah. things that, and you know what, go back to the to the game against New the Orleans. He was not down. He was down. not down. No. Man, no. That, and that guy is good at that stuff. His balance right. is absolutely tremendous. Right. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. What Rams. were we talking we'll about? The Rams. The Rams. <laughs> are, are they going to start guarding uh, Danny Amendola like, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, you know, maybe Sunday. You know, like you used to advance games. You know, for the, you know, make sure the hotels and everything. Maybe send a guy. I don't know, Culliver. So start following him around. Right, exactly. <laughs> Just, you know, and I'm going to cover go, you. He goes to the bathroom. You go with him. You go yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, but two, thank you. Uh, this is the two-minute warning. You've handled those before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's one guy, but uh, Jackson, Stephen Jackson, is just. He has He's gone off lately. He's got fire. He has gone off. What would it take for you if, if he no. came here and was running at you? How much money would I have to give you no. to no. try to tackle no. him? Two years ago, I walked past him in the tunnel by the locker room when I was doing instant replay. Yeah. I couldn't believe the size of him. He's a big boy. Yeah. He is huge. And I, I kind of like stepped aside and let him, let him walk by. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this has sure. nothing to do with the game on, on Sunday against the Rams, but they still have a number one and a number two coming from the Redskins. Yes. I think, and I think oh, they yeah. drafted pretty well. Is and it, I think the following year they have this, yeah. they have the, they the, have four number ones in the next two no, years. No, no, no. They got a lot of draft picks. They got a lot of draft picks. They've got a lot of good have, young players on this team. You the know, Niners right. have two threes, two fives, two sixes, right. and two sevens next year, too. And, 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 yeah, and Bones too. off the air. Did you say that off the air about seeing Jeff Fisher? Talking yeah. about the young players, that's that deserves to be on the air. Um, yeah, I, I I ran into him before the game. When was it? Two weeks ago, and he he told me, twenty four of the fifty three guys are first year, first year players. That's amazing. Right. Rookies. Yeah. Right. That's amazing. We have we have about thirty seconds left. I think we all agree they'll probably beat the Rams, but I don't know that. Just give me quickly a score. Just give me. Uh, they're going to break the tie this time. Okay. And uh, <laughs> okay. I say uh, 27-17. I think it should be a very close game. I can see 21-17-ish uh, in this game. Steve, I'm going to go. Jackson. I'm going to go 35-21. 49ers. Yeah. Kind of like what just happened. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 27-24. 27-24. Okay. Niners. Niners. I, I got the Niners like 28-10. Uh, but when he said, I think they're going to play a tie, I thought he was going to say, I think they'll play a sixth quarter. <laughs> I swear, I thought that's what he was going to say. All right, that's it, Steve. Thanks a million, pal. Terrell, Thank always you. good to see you. Thanks you for guys. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, right here on Hooked on the Niners, we'll be looking for you. All right. Now, do we have any.